Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Big Legged Woman as recorded by Freddie King on guitar. Now this song is, as like so many other Freddie King songs, a 12 bar blues chord progression. And we're gonna be using what we call the one, four, and five in the key of C. But what Freddie does is create a really cool riff off of the chord. And I'm gonna show you how to play that riff and then how to take it through the blues progression. Before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome PDF that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. And it's just a one-page PDF. I was able to take everything and compress it down to just one page so you can print this out, keep it on your music stand, or keep it on your desktop as a super handy resource as you're learning how to play all over the entire higher guitar neck. So check that out as my gift to you. You can grab your copy. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right. Well, with that said, let's break down this awesome blues song. Let's break down how to play Big Legged Woman as recorded by Freddie King on guitar. Now this song is a blues in the key of C and it uses essentially just three chords. Let me show you those first. The first one is a C7 sharp nine. And this chord is played here on the low E string. I'm gonna play eight, then seven, then eight, eight, eight. So I'm playing five strings there. I've got my middle finger index and then ring is barring the rest of those strings. So that's a great chord. It's like the Jimi Hendrix chord here, but you play it on the lower strings. Then from there, you can take this shape and shift it down one string. And I'm gonna play just four strings though on this chord. I'm gonna play eight, seven, eight, eight. This time though, I'm starting on the note F here, which is the eighth fret of the fifth string. So that's gonna be an F9. And then the other shape that I'll use is a G9, which is that same chord shape as the F9, just two frets higher. Okay, so those are essentially the, the three chords that are used in this song. So it's like a C7, an F7, and a G7, or their full names, you know, C7 sharp nine, F9, and G9. But I'm thinking about that as just the one, four, and five in the key of C. Now, if that's something that's unfamiliar with you, check out the blues course on my website. It's gonna explain how this is all put together. But the basic idea here is that for the C7 sharp nine, we're gonna play a riff. And we're gonna play this riff. Three, four. So we have this awesome blues figure that's using notes from that exact chord, the C7 sharp nine. So let me show you. Starting here on the root note, then I'm sliding from the sixth fret into the seventh fret on the fifth string though. So that's the major third there of the C7 chord. So first it starts kind of a flat third and then goes into the major third, which is a very common blues sound you hear all the time. So then up to the 10th fret, then go to the fourth string and play A10. Okay, so that's the root to basically the third, the fifth, the flat seventh, and then the root of the chord. Okay, so those notes make up a C7 chord, or, you know, it sounds like the intro to Pretty Woman. That's what Pretty Woman does is basically arpeggiates a dominant seventh chord. So. You can see where those notes come from. That's the, the root, third, fifth, flat, seventh, root. Okay, and again, there's our chord. So now rhythmically, I'm going one E and a, two E and a. So I'm playing the downbeat, one E and a. Then on the a uh of one, I'm playing that sixth fret, sliding into the downbeat of beat two. So one E and a, two E and a. 
and then I walk up 16 notes to E and uh, so okay and then we go and that's just like a little pentatonic lick or you could think the flat third to the root then the uh, fourth of the scale back to the flat third but I just think of it as part of this you know C minor pentatonic or your blues scale okay so that's where those notes come from so it starts out with sort of an arpeggio then a little blues lick or pentatonic lick Okay, so those two elements combined make this riff so cool. And the groove is incredible. So after you learn this figure, go and play it along with the recording. And then it's going to go four times for the first four bars. It's going to go one E and a two E and. That's the first four bars, which again represent the one chord. Then we go to the four chord. And that's, again, that same shape as the C7 sharp 9. I just shifted it down and I get this F9. Now here, Freddie plays almost the same riff, but he changes it just slightly. It's gonna sound like this. Three and four and... we return back to that first riff. So we're gonna play two of these riffs on the F chord. We're gonna start on the eighth fret. We'll start the same way. Just shift it down one string, eight, six, slide to seven, up to 10, then eight, 10 on the third string. And then we'll come back. And it's da, 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 da. That's eight, 10, then eight, 10. One E and a two E and a three E and a four and okay, slightly different rhythm on the end there, eighth notes. Okay, that's our riff for hear how that goes together with that sound, right? And you go back to the one chord riff. Alright, so let's put this together. We're gonna play the first eight bars. So we'll do four times on the first riff, then two times shifted down, then two times back on the first riff. Here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. From there, we go to a G9 chord for a bar, and then an F9 for a bar, and Freddie sometimes would just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then back to the riff on C two times. So that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's try the whole thing together from the top. We'll play one time through that 12 bar blues. Get set, I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Congrats on making it through this classic Freddie King style blues guitar lesson. Be sure to take your time with those riffs 
And remember, it's super important to think about the chord tones that are happening in that riff. So you've got like the root, the third, the fifth, and that's why those notes work because they are part of the chord that's happening. So, you know, if you have a keyboard player or another guitar player backing you up playing the chords, then the notes that are in the riff go right with the chord because they're chord tones. So as you understand that, it really helps you just start unlocking more lead playing and learning how to play all over the entire guitar neck. And to help you even more with this, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide. And this is a PDF that's gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I put it all on one page so you can print this out and keep it on your music stand or on your desktop as a super handy resource for understanding more of what we're talking about and learning how the guitar neck works. So grab that at johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below as my gift to you. Also, before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.